See, now, look. I, look, I have to agree with Cardi B, man. Listen, like she said, man, you don't have to buy her music. You ain't got to follow her tours. You ain't got to watch her music videos. You ain't got to watch her social media. So when you talk negative about her, all you doing is making her win. Now, I don't agree with everything that Cardi B do, especially how she's carrying on and the way she talks and the way she acts. She got a big influence on the people in the young generation that's coming up, right? Look, man, the guys and the people who are doing it right are losing. The people who are, look, Cardi B come from the slums. Cardi B come from the strip club. Cardi B come from the above, underneath the ground. You see what I'm saying? You know that, man. Right? You got a daughter. You got a son coming up, going through high school, middle school, high school to college. And he won't make a dime. You understand me? Compared to how much money, you think in his lifetime, how much money she's making on one album, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Now, in order to change the narrative, in order to change the game, we, as people, black, white, green, yellow, is going to have to hold ourselves accountable for the things that we put our energy towards, man. You know, I heard the whole thing about Jay-Z. Matter of fact, I'm going to talk about that in the next video, man. But it, it's, it's a big, great correspondence because, you know, you got both people. Jay-Z coming from his lifestyle, you know, owning... You know, a part owner of the NFL and he's doing a lot of different things as far as streaming and everybody got to come through him if they want to really get on. We're going to talk about that in the next video. You rocking with your boy CBT, man. Listen, Cardi B definitely um, is moving the needle when it comes to music. She definitely setting the trend when it comes down to clothing and her ideas and where she's taking hip hop, man. She told people, listen, Jermaine Dupri, you right. You right, you know. Hip-hop, as far as the females are concerned, we are putting out music talking about our body parts. We are talking about music talking and we twerking more than we rapping. But at the end of the day, the fans like it. At the end of the day, it's not about bars no more. At the end of the day, she's winning based on and just basically showing what she got underneath that skirt. You feel what I'm saying? And if you don't like it, go rock with somebody that's spitting bars. We got a lot of females out there that's spitting bars. You see what I'm talking about? So come on, man. We can't, you know, criticize her. But at the end of the day, go on her social media, giving her those views, buying those albums. The only reason we can talk about her music, right, is because we listen to it, right? So the whole point of the point, the whole matter is this, man. I need you to understand something, man. What we got to do. Is we got to shut down the music, man. We got to support those who are, uh, you know, representing the way we think and act and talk and put those people on the pedal stool. So those people that we raise up, our kids and, you know, can look up to those people because what we, what we say is hot, it's hot. You feel what I'm saying? We move the needle to people. You see what I'm talking about? Especially the black people. Look, man, everybody talking about justification as far as, you know, when it comes to music, man. Same idea, man. When black people say that's hot, everybody else, every other race say, okay, that's hot then, man. So who are the people that's at the bottom of the barrel? Us. So we need to, right, to, to, to promote, uplift music that makes more sense. Music that's going to, you know, put our children and ourselves in the direction where we really want to be. But because if we don't, we're going to go down to the strip club and pop it like it's hot, throw a few dollars in the air, man. You see what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I'm going to talk about the Jay-Z thing on here, man. Everybody talking about Jay-Z. You dig what I'm saying? You know, NFL, how he going to be down with something and, 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 and be against it at the same time. He even told Jermaine Dupri, yo, fall back. Don't sign. You dig? We try and do something here. And then a year later, he ended up signing. Okay. Understand something, man. This is chess, not checkers. Jay-Z, a boss. I don't agree with everything he do. I, matter of fact, I don't even have not one disagreement with him. <laughs> you understand? It's no different, people. Look, man. Jay-Z is trying to, you know, uh, lay his stake, right? Set up, him, set up himself for future, uh, for his future and his kids' future. In doing so, you get, you do, you make these type of moves. Everybody talking about kneeling for the, you know, for the national anthem. We ain't rocking with it. We kneeling. We, we putting our fists in the air. Where has that gotten us? Cabinet got a settlement. He moved on. Cabinet reason, main reason for taking the knee was because he wasn't starting. At the end of the day, I, you know, show him love because he mixed and matched it. And made everyone believe that, hey, this is the real reason. And if that it was the real reason, because I don't want to argue with that, with you with that, 
That's cool, but it didn't get him anywhere. Everybody always say, man, <laughs> black people going to march for a week, and then after that, it's a wrap, man. They understand the game. We'll be upset for a minute. Come on, and then we're going to be back on the other side. The next, Jay-Z understands that. Jay-Z not going to, you know, push his career a certain way, you know, according to what the people are saying that don't got a dollar in their pocket in order to make change. You got to have money to make change. Maybe we need somebody in the inside. Right? Maybe we need somebody at the table that represent us. You understand me? We not going to ever get what we, always, what we want. But we got somebody on the inside. Now, if Jay-Z... What can Jay-Z do in the NFL? Like, I mean, he making money. You understand me? And we got many uh, black people. <laughs> black people running in the NFL. They still, they still balling. <laughs> they still balling. Some are taking a knee. But at the end of the day, if you really care, then everybody that's black in the NFL should just leave the NFL. Nobody should play. Nobody, because they're owned by who? Come on, people. You can't change what you can't change, man. Listen, black people lost the war a long time ago, man, and we're going to lose the war again. We ain't, got the, we ain't got the numbers, man. You need more people. You feel what I'm saying? And like I said before, in order to provoke change, you need dollars in this country, man. You understand what I'm saying? So, people, open your eyes, man. We got so many people doing so many different things in the black community. None of us is on one accord. None of us. So, I'm not mad at Carly B from do, for doing what she wants to do. Because she's doing everything that she was taught. Everything that comes to her mind. And those who understand that. Dressing like that. Acting like that. Walking like that. Talking like that. It's garbage. We know that. But what happens? We get a girl from the Bronx. <laughs> we get a girl from the Bronx that did any and everything to get a dollar. And we made her a multi-millionaire. That's the power of the people, man. You see what I'm saying? People like drama. And I don't want to even say black people like drama. But we do. But people like drama. People like to talk about something. I remember when Cardi B was this regular chick running around trying to put her music together. She had a good persona about herself. She had a good, you know, presence on the mic. And I always used to be like, yo, she tight. Who that? You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I don't care if she write her rhymes or not, man. You're buying it, man. We put her over the top, man. You see what I'm saying? So, people, give Cardi B a break. Open your eyes. If you want to change something, turn the TV off, man. You want to change something, support those that put out the music that you like. Like people talk about Styles P riding the bus. Yeah, it was a joke, but at the end of the day, yeah, yo, come on, Styles, what you mean you riding the bus, man? You, you, you working for the bus company now? <laughs> you dig like, understand that you know he nice. You know the locks is, <laughs> they tight. Their lyrics is crazy. My favorite artist is she Sheik Loops. I think people sleeping on Sheik. I think Sheik is one of the best out of the three. I could debate anybody on that. His bars is ridiculous. You dig what I'm saying? I bump that in the car to this day. Hear me when I tell you. Right? You're not supporting Sheik Loops. You're not supporting the locks as a whole. They're not going out there making them dudes multi plat. You know what I mean? Putting these dudes, you know, on platinum status. You putting Cardi B on plat platinum status, a female. And not, not, you know what I mean? Not a female uh, homeboy thing. It's just, I'm just saying. You're not even going back to the essence and saying, yo, these dudes is tight. I want to support. I want to put these dudes where they actually supposed to be, man. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to walk about it. When we in a group, we're going to say, yes, you know, that Locks is the toughest artist out there. Yeah, but we're not supporting them. We're not. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, if he was to get, you know, a job at the bus company, <laughs> you dig? Um, it'd be with all of his rights because his people are not backing him, man. He's like, like a boy. like a, uh, a homeboy that got skills on the basketball court. He got skills, but he ain't make it to the big league, so we consider him a street legend. We talk about him all the time, but we didn't support him to get him where he needed to be because the community wasn't behind him. Same thing with this hip-hop thing, man. So if you really want to support something, man, do the right thing. If you really want to support the artist that pushed the narrative that you think and feel in your heart, do the right thing support the real artists because we got good artists out there, man. You see what I'm saying? But you're not going to get, I'm not going to pussy for the round, man. I'm going to keep it funky across the board, man. Black people, we lost the war, man. <laughs> we lost the war, man. So stop acting like Jay-Z can move chips around the board to make you better, man. I think Jay-Z doing some good things under, behind the scenes, you know, that, uh, a lot of people don't know and a lot of people don't talk about He don't talk about himself. People talk about Kanye West and Kim Kardashian while they in the White House. We need somebody in there that's going to represent us some type of way. 
You feel what I'm saying? Because your local politician in your hood ain't doing a damn thing. Let me ask you one question. I'm going to get up off here, man, because I'm getting too real for y'all dudes. You're not ready for this type of thing, right? Y'all want somebody to rub y'all shoulders and stroke y'all ego, but CBT casual boxing talk. Welcome to the page. Subscribe on your way in. Subscribe on your way out, cocksucker. You see me? It's that Queens talk right here, man. Not that South, not that Midwest. We talking real talk. You smell me? Now, hear me when I say it. Every... Um, a little bit political, you probably don't follow po politics, I know you're probably looking for the next rap song and the rap CD, but when you're over here, I'm going to give you some knowledge, right? Any precinct, precinct that you go to around the country, whether it's Chicago, Baltimore, St. Louis, you dig what I'm saying, NYC, etc., that are ran by de Democrats, <laughs> tell me how those precincts, those states, those cities are doing. I guarantee you 95% of those priests ran by Democrats are trash, 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 point blank period. Those that are ran by conservatives or, or uh, Republicans, those, those cities, those uh, states are doing well. Schools are great, right? The community is safe, right? There's local stores, there's not a liquor store on every corner, there's not a church on every block, right? There's a reason for that, man. And let me say this one. I got, I, got, I, got a, I got a lot to talk about when it comes down to this thing, man. Let me say one more thing, man. Like, you dig? We talk about how we want Jay-Z, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, and et cetera to, to do what we want them to do as far as when it comes to politics, right? But do you know what the first per thing a person does, black person does, a colored person does when they, when they uh, get some money? They move out of the hood. And they go into those precincts that I talked about, right? Those precincts ran by Republicans, right? Ran by conservatives, right? They go and live under that umbrella, bro. So it's difficult to talk crazy from a glass house, man. We cannot go jogging in silk pajamas, people. Do you understand me? The only people that can change the circumstances that we are in is us. Because we understand us. And until we can understand us and talk to each other and not walk past each other. You know how many chicks I walk past and how many black dudes I walk past and when I walk past them, I feel like something about to happen. Now, I ain't got to be in the hood. Like, I could just be walking, bro. Like, we don't even say what up. We can't even feel like, yo, to say hi to each other, man. That's the problem, man. So until we fix us, we can't ask people that got rich to, to fix us, help us like each other. So cut it out, man. And I would just say, man, you know, even when a black dude or a colored dude go into the NFL, NBA, or become a star, they start dating other races. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So when I say that this thing that we understand is bigger than just Cardi B, it's bigger than just Jay-Z, man, we got to look at the whole mentality of everything, right? So you got an artist that you support. You love him, Chris Brown. Woo, that's my guy, right? That's what you're going to say, females, right? I hope the females, hope I ain't got no fruity duties on this channel. Nah, you dig? Listen, right? You dig? Look, he, he don't date you. He date the other looking type females. We ain't going to get too political on here, you smell me? But you still support him. You took him to where he was and you took him to where he at, Right? So in order to change the narrative, you got to take the people representing you and the mindset that you represent to the next level. That's how you make change. You can't make change by putting people in places that don't represent you at the end of the day. Once they get to the top of the mountain, people, you're rocking with your boy CBT. If you're new to the channel, we're going to be throwing out new, you know what I mean, uh, videos like this, giving you knowledge and understanding, man. That's what you got to do. Like, I would advise you guys to go to, what's that dude's name? I don't want to butcher it. Hassan Campbell. Go to his channel. Now, he a little rough. He a little tough. People try to compare me to him when I do my little videos like this and say, yo, you rough. You too strong on the people. Now, this is what you did. You got to be strong. You got to talk the facts. You got to not pussyfoot around. And Hassan Cameron, I disagree with a lot of things he say in, 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 a, in a manner in, in which he says it. Right? Not the aggressive tone. That's cool. I'm a man. I could deal with the aggressive tone. Rock with your boy. But... It's certain things that I'd be like, hey, if you're really trying to get the message across, homeboy, you ain't got to do it like that. But that's his platform, his thing. I'm over here telling you that I like some of his content, and I'm giving you 
the, his name so you can go over there. So that means I'm not hating on the cat. He's from the same place I'm from. You dig what I'm saying? That's why he understands. You dig? And that's why I can rock with him. But you rocking with your boy, subscribe to the channel, man. This beat rocking. <laughs> you should be getting a haircut to this beat right here, man. You should go watch Anthony Joshua knock out greatest hits. You see what I'm saying? Rock out to the channel, man. Subscribe. Share the video, man. And if you are Anthony Joshua supporter, man, put your fists in the air, man. If you are Anthony Joshua supporter, man, put something in the comment section, man. If you riding with Anthony Joshua, you believe he gonna knock out. <laughs> Thought you so had to figure it out. New perspective. Casual boxing talk.